Hi, Starting Out Solitary, Pandora here. This week, it is subs week. I am your Tuesday subs week host. I do apologize for this video being a little bit late to upload. However, I forgot to pre-record and I've now got kids home with me sick and I'm a little bit sick, so I apologize if my voice sounds a bit croaky. But moving on, this week, our topic is astrology, star signs, whether we read them, whether we use them and go in for them, whether we use um, traditional Western esoteric astrology or Chinese um, astrology or fairy astrology, which I don't, I'm not familiar with. I don't know what that is. And I was going to Google that before I made this video, but I didn't get around to it. So <laughs> I don't know what it's about. But um, so for myself personally, astrology is not really my thing it's something I've always been a little bit interested in and these days I'm more interested in it as it relates to tarot which is a big passion of mine and something that I, I am um, really familiar with so I'll sort of look at the different astrological correspondences for different cards and that helps me to understand the meaning of the card better it's the same reason why I've learnt Kabbalah a little bit, so I've learnt a little bit about Kabbalah and that helps me with my tarot knowledge as well. Um, Kabbalah as in the Western esoteric system of Kabbalah, more so than the traditional Jewish one, obviously, because I think only men can traditionally learn that. <laughs> but um, So I've gotten a chart done for myself, my husband and my eldest child, this guy, and I haven't gotten one done yet for my daughter. But the, the lady who did them for us was the lady who did Jonah's naming day. So we had like a, I thought of it as sort of a welcoming day and a naming day where we just had some people around and um, did a cake and she um, read out what she had gotten from his name numerology as well as his astrological chart. And when I look back at the documents that she gave me, they're quite um, cut and paste, like she's obviously cut and paste them from some kind of resource that she had. And um, yeah, they were a bit generic and a bit um, like not super detailed. So I, I have been meaning to look it up and research it a bit better because I do know, you know, all of our planets and houses now. And I also want to get a chart done for my daughter because I'm just curious which um, charts she has. I know she's an Aries and I think she has um, a a Taurus rising I believe and my son is a Libra and he has a Virgo rising so I think it's interesting that my children both have um, earth rising signs and I also have an earth rising sign I'm a Capricorn rising so um, yeah I'm a little bit into astrology I do think that um, it's not an exact science like scientifically when they study it they can't prove or disprove it really I do think that it's more of a divinatory art, it's a bit more subtle and some people just have the gift and the knack for it and they're really really good at it and other people like me <laughs> just kind of don't. So um, I am a little bit interested in um, Chinese astrology too, I've always found it interesting that the Chinese attribute different animals um, for the different year that you're born in and I think that that's interesting. So I was born in the Chinese year of the rat and my husband was born in the Chinese year of the boar. Um, I do believe that this guy was born in the Chinese year of the dragon and my daughter was born in the Chinese year of the monkey. So, um, and I couldn't really tell you too much about the different um, supposed personality traits and attributes of those signs, but um, yeah, I do think that it's fun and it's interesting and I have been interested in it since I was a child but never really gone deep into studying astrology and star signs and that kind of thing. I am somewhat sceptical about it. I do think that it's, um, you know, it's interesting to think that people that are born at certain times and in certain places have got certain attributes and um, personality traits but I, I also think that genetics comes into it, your upbringing comes into it, you know, your society and um, your environmental surroundings and all of that comes into it as well obviously. So yeah, it's not an exact science and um, I, I am a little bit skeptical about it. So. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. As you can tell, I'm not super confident talking about this topic because it's not really my thing. Um, 
But thanks for watching and I will see you next time here on Starting Out Solitary. Bye!